Hi friends, in this video I will teach you how to create a virtual device, Android virtual device AVD or emulator in Android studio. This is my React Native project. My project name is Enable Hermes. It is, a, it is just a name. I created this project to explain how to enable Hermes on React Native. But using this same project, I will teach you how to create an emulator or Android virtual machine AVD in Android studio. Uh, I just opened Android Studio. I loaded Android folder of this enabled Hermes React Utility project in Android Studio. In in a previous video, I have explained how to open React Utility project in Android Studio. It is very simple. Just browse to the uh, Android folder inside React Utility project. For our case, it is Hermes uh, Hermes enabled Hermes project inside enabled Hermes project we have android folder this folder we have to open this one in android studio so it is already open now in this uh, in this project i uh, there is already one virtual machine virtual device android virtual device pixel 6 pro api 20 level 29 uh, i will teach you how to create a new uh, uh, avd or emulator for that first we will go to Click here, we have device manager here. Device manager, it is already opened here. For example, if I minimize it here, if you go here and you click device manager, it will open. Otherwise, it will it will show in the uh, right side. You see, device manager here. Click here. So, we have virtual and physical. Virtual device and physical device. Physical device is when you connect your phone to the system and the Android Studio will detect that physical device. Uh, using using USB port and uh, you can run your application on your physical device your uh, phone on your hand If you want emulator you have to go to virtual here here We will create Android virtual device for that first you have to click on this create device Okay, you will get this window virtual device configuration select hardware here you, you have different categories or you can create emulator for all these categories phone tablet VOS desktop TV automotive automotive so if you go to phone in the phone we have different sizes pixel XL pixel 6 pro pixel 6 we have already created one with the pixel 6 pro this one okay hey, when you select this one in the right side you can see the size its size, ratio, density, everything will be shown there. For example, we can go with the Pixel 5. Okay, then click next button. Uh, before that, I will explain one more thing. If, if you are going to build an application which is applicable to the tablet, you can select tablet category and tablet also there is a different sizes, resolution and density. So you, you can select based on this size, resolution and density. Nexus 9, Nexus 7, 2012 model, Nexus 7, Nexus 10. So, when you select this one, you can give a, uh, a graphical uh, representation of the size, uh, ratio, and density here. Okay. VR OS also, desktop, TV, automotive. So, based on this category, there are different uh, resolution, size, and density. You can choose uh, one out of it. So, uh, let us go with the uh, for example, let us go with the tablet and uh, let me choose uh, something, yeah, extra large, uh, uh, ratio, not long, XH DPI, we can go with this one, XS uh, 10, then click next button, here uh, we have to select a system image, the recommended images are listed here and X86 images and other images. In recommended images, I have already installed Teramisu and Q. These are different API levels available in Android, Android OS. It is the latest API, API level 33. And Q is API level 29. We have already created a, an emulator with the API level 29. So let us go with the Tera, Teramisu. That is API level is 39. Look at here, AP level 13, 33, sorry, 33, and the Android version is 13.0. If you click here, Q, the Android version is 10 and AP level 29. So, uh, once the Android uh, OS, Android uh, system, Android, um, Android OS is uh, upgrading, increasing the up version, like 10, 
11, 12, 13, AP level also increasing. So, for uh, this uh, AP level 33, Android version is 13, and AP level 10, Android, uh, uh, AP level 29, Android version is 10. 10. We have already created one with AP level 29, so we can go with AP level 33. So, if you look at here, you can see what are the things we have selected. So, let us move to next. Here, you have another uh, settings. We, you can give a name for this one. Nexus 10 API 33. Uh, let us keep as it is because from the name itself, we can identify the device and the API level. Android versions, everything we can identify like uh, before Pixel 6 Pro API level 29. So, it is Nexus 10. Um, so OS and API level is there. If you want change it, you can change it from here. Uh, let us keep it as it is. Then you can make orientation. Do you want it in a portrait or landscape? Uh, I need in portrait. Uh, uh, no, sorry, in uh, landscape because uh, we are building uh, a emulator, uh, emulator for um, tablet. No, so we can go with that one. If you enable device frame, device frame will be there. If you disable it, there, is, there will be no frame. That's the difference for the device in the emulator. If you click on show advanced settings, you will get the different uh, settings which is applicable to this emulator which we are going to create. You can choose cold boot or quick boot. Uh, um, how many RAMs you can uh, assign. It is an MB uh, SD card available or not. So you can um, choose whatever the uh, what are the things which, uh, which are related to this emulator. You can mention it uh, here based on your custom, custom uh, settings. So, uh, for time being, we will keep this one as it is, and uh, whatever the, what are the things available are by default, we, we keep as it is, and we can go to the finish, finish button. Let us click on finish button. Yes, look at here, our new emulator Nexus 10 API 33 is showing here. So, like this uh, API level 29, we have API 33. So, we successfully created a uh, um, emulator or uh, Android virtual device AVD. It stands for uh, Android virtual device. Uh, we created with a new AP, latest API level, uh, Android version 13, which is available in the latest stable version of Android Studio. I hope this is understandable for you. Thank you.